Hello! Today we have a Halloween and Autumn sort of gothic jewelry haul for you guys. And if you are new, do check out our spooky playlists. Our jewelry playlist will be linked below because you're probably here because you like jewelry if you're new or if you're not. And I'm Morticia. Gomez is behind the camera. This is our roommate Slappy with his new little monster friend. Isn't that adorable? We're all ready for Halloween and fall, so... Okay, let's get into this. These are all really nicely made, very affordable. I'm excited, so I'm going to give a little bit of a review with each piece because I've had time to wear them and whatnot and kind of let you know what they're going to be like. So, we are starting with this. It's branches, and they called it a choker, so I thought it would be like where my cat can just be up here, but it doesn't hang that way. It's more like a bib, I guess they call it, but it's cool because you can make it shorter or longer, and I just made it longer so you can see these side pieces and whatnot better, but if it's shorter, it's just up like this, and um, when I take it off in a sec, I will show you how the chain is in the back. It's got those thick links that you can adjust to make it all kinds of links. So I had this on a few days ago with a, like a lower cut dress instead of my cat t-shirt. I got this from Walmart last year. It's superb, but I had it on with like a lower cut dress, and it was cool because like the dress kind of came like this and then this was up here so it looked really cool now this is just branches and it has little black stones on every other segment these are segmented so it's like tree branches there's a black stone and then a set of branches without a stone and then a big set here they're kind of asymmetrical which is cool and this has a couple stones in it because it's big daddy segment and then this one doesn't and then this one does just a little faux black stone with a marquee cut and that's another little branch on this edge and then you get to the chain in the back that's got the big links for size adjustment so I like this because it's like for autumn or winter for me or Halloween because you know you have like the Halloween trees that are like dead trees um, this the stones could look like little leaves but they're black anyway and it's just like a nest of kind of branches so it kind of makes me think of autumn or winter and it's unique and pretty and it was from Aliexpress it's like a heavy pewter and the links are connected really well to each other and it was four dollars so I was looking at branch necklaces on Etsy and whatnot and they were all like sixteen dollars and this was four it has a lobster claw clasp and let's check this out Oops. sometimes having long nails makes things easier and sometimes it doesn't it's an interesting little philosophy okay so you've got this heavy chain on both sides, which is good because the necklace is bigger and it supports it nicely. $4 from AliExpress, you guys, and free shipping. I started looking for everything at AliExpress first because, you know, you could think it's so cheap, like it's got to be crappily made. Very seldom is that the case. Um, usually it's just that they're selling it wholesale to stores, like that you're going to go in and spend 30 or 40 Like this looks like a department store kind of Macy's type piece. And, you know, so people, like, let's say that own Macy's are buying stuff like this, selling it in their stores for a lot more, and then people like us just don't know about AliExpress to go look for stuff like that there first. And now before I buy anything, I look to see what AliExpress has first, just in case, because it saves a ton of money, and if you like shopping, you can buy so much more stuff. So, anyway, this is um, it from the back. Still got the branch look, but I think this is great for autumn, winter, or Halloween. It's just a nice, classy piece. And then, as I said, you have the heavy chain links here so you can even fasten it all the way up here and make it where it's right up at your throat which because it's so long and wide I guess it also looks good like that and then you have a thinner chain extender here at the end like about two inches if you wanted to make it a little longer so very versatile very nice I like it and I'm going to put it down and get to the next piece I'm kind of doing um, the Halloween and the autumn kind of mixed around so this is also a piece from AliExpress. It's a cat on a broomstick. I always think of it as a black cat, even though it's silver, because like if it's a witchy cat, it should be black. And if you're into witchy stuff, it could just be a witchy pendant all year round, like us. Um, we would wear it all year. And then Gomez and I, that is, because I think a guy could wear it too, but I don't think he kept one of these. Um, this was $2. It's kind of a thin chain, but it works. So, I mean, you can keep it on it, or you can put it on a longer one, but for $2, you get a chain too. This is also like a pewter. And the cat is, if you turn it this way, he would just be sitting in the classical cat pose with his tail up, and he's just sitting. But it actually hangs this way. And the broom is very 3D on the front and the sides, and it's just hollow on the back like that. And the cat is kind of flat, but I do like the kind of vintage classic pose. So this is about three inches long, very lightweight, and it's a nice metal. And cats on broomsticks are just hard to find. And I've seen some in acrylic, but it's kind of flat, and so I like the metal ones. 
but it's very it gives you a nice autumny Halloweeny feel witchy feel um, without being costume jewelry -y, you know what I mean like so that's cool and that is part two now I had a couple tucked under my shirt because I was lazy and you know I had to put other ones on to show you so here is the next autumn piece this is gold leaves I usually do silver but I like to do my gold leaf kind of thing or bronze or whatever or copper in the autumn so this one's gold this came from Joanne fabrics and it was actually a headband but if you use it as a headband these little links that are connecting each leaf kind of want to get caught in your hair and I just didn't think it was very comfortable so it's pretty but I don't think it's practically applied the back is just elastic and you know it just looks like a, a piece that could you know go like a black cord or something on a necklace so um, it's just in the back and my hair covers it and it doesn't look bad but you know if I didn't really want it seen it's not really being seen so um, and then the leaves hang like this so I really I just kind of bought it and I thought it was actually a choker it was hanging with headbands but it was ready-made stuff so I just thought they put them together and then when I got it I was like oh that's not a choker it's a headband and I tried it and the links were getting caught in my hair and I'm like you know I think it was around like ten dollars but there are coupons uh, but it's really nicely made and then I was like well it, you know let me just try it as a necklace and it looks great I can layer it with other stuff and I really like it and so yeah, um, I'm going to link all this below. I don't think I can link Joann's, but you guys can always go look in your store. But I will link the AliExpress pieces, um, the cat and the branches and this next piece. I made this. Um, it's a, it just comes as a piece that you have to, it has a hole on the top and you have to put, um, you can use a jump ring or whatever you want to do. But I got fancy and put a black garnet. It's really dark red, so it looks black on top. And then a little bale that I got from Walmart that's connecting it to this black cord I have it on. But it is a Halloween tree in black. It's about 60 mil around. It's like a circle, and then it has the stuff inside. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, um, but it's got it's a black Halloween tree, which I love. I was looking for black Halloween tree jewelry when I discovered this because we all love the Halloween tree. It's so autumny and Halloweeny, and it has a bat and a ghost and um, they're so little I forget, like a pumpkin and a cat, a black cat. And a raven so it's got a bunch going on it's mainly the tree but you have all the other like Halloween so it's like everything Halloween in one pendant how crazily amazing is that so and it came and there's different ones I'm gonna pick it up it came you get like I think it's seven dollars you get 12 of these and they come in black and purple and I was wearing black probably shows up on the camera but just in case um, I wanted a black one and then I made a purple one for a friend that I'm doing a Halloween trade with and we always send stuff so I'm sure we'll do Halloween Jess I know you like purple so I thought you'd prefer a purple one and that's the same thing but it's purple and Halloween is like you know I like orange and black but purple's good for Halloween too and I have another friend that I'm doing Halloween with and she knows I'm working on her stuff. Karen, do you want one of these? You may tell me in an email or you may leave a comment. You get choices. Isn't life beautiful? It's America. Um, so let me know if you want purple or black. And Jess, you're getting purple because I decided you are. These are so lightweight, they could also be earrings. If, if you like big earrings, as long as they're not heavy, these could also be earrings. It'd be a cute set. So I might make Jess some earrings too. And these are again 60 mil. It's like this is the palm of my hand, and that's how much of it it fills. And I didn't have a purple stone. I wasn't sure if the black would mar the purpleness, so I just um, used crafting wire for a loop on top, or you could use a jump ring. And I just did Jess's without any stone. So that's how it looks without a stone. That's how this one looks when I have a garnet on it. And I made Gomez one just like mine, so it's black with the dark stone on top. So we're twinsies. And these, I think, like I said, were like 7 bucks for 12 of them. So that's a really good deal. They're a nice, sturdy acrylic. And they came like this in an envelope or a box. I think they came in a little box, actually. So it's pretty cool. They packaged them well. They came pretty fast from China, considering we ordered them like a few weeks ago, like mid-July. So that's pretty awesome. And the cats, they came really fast. And the branch took a little longer, but not much. These are all pretty fast from AliExpress, so I'm quite pleased with that. And the last thing is this headband. It I got Uncle Fester slash Uncle Infested. We call him Uncle Infested on our TV show. Um, I got him to put the silver bat because I wanted a bat headband that wasn't like plasticky looking, and I wanted it to be standing up. I have a headband I got off Amazon that I did a review for that's 
um, a bigger bat, but it's laying down like flat against the headband and it's hard for people to see it. So I wanted one that's standing up. This one you just see his little tiny face and the wings lifted because I can't find the right shaped bat to stay up on a headband. It's been a thing. But I know it's silver and gold. I don't mind the colors mixing. And I like the gold because, again, it's leaves. Look at this. So if you like the headband and you don't want a bat or you don't have Uncle Fester to help you solder it on there, um, that's okay. This is a really pretty headband on its own. It's just metal. looks really classy and elegant. And it's autumn leaves. And it was hanging up with the um, other headband that I turned into a necklace here. So that is, and this is how it looks off. It's just like a metal band and then it has the wider like leaf motif on here it's about an inch wide it's so pretty so even if you're not loving the bat on there the headband is at Joann's and it's very elegant and nice and I think you can dress up casual clothes with it or you know wear it with nice stuff and it's cool these metal ones aren't always the most comfortable but this one is a lot more comfortable than um, a lot of them that I've seen and I think it was around like eight or ten dollars as well that's a very pretty well-made elegant piece and I was surprised that Joann's had ready-made hair things but you always gotta look around those craft stores because you never know what they have so this has been our spooky autumn and Halloween haul for jewelry and accessories we hope you enjoyed and until next time stay spooky my friends